Upper Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. Topic, Letter to the Ephesus Churches, Part 2. Memory Verse, Matthew 15, 8. These people draw it nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Bible reading, Revelation 2, 4 to 7. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But these thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. The Message you wonder how Jesus would say that the Ephesus church had forgotten their first love after saying that he had seen their works, labor, and patience. Revelation 2.4 This tells us clearly that all the labor that these people were putting into the work of God was not from the heart. It had all become routine and there was no longer a deep fellowship between them and the Holy Spirit. Many Christians today fall into this trap of the devil. When they are in a prayer meeting, they can pray for two hours, but they can hardly pray for five minutes in their closets. When the church evangelism team is going out to evangelize, they are the first to arrive, but they have never opened their mouth to preach the gospel to their neighbor who is a non-believer. Oh, gone are those days when you will arrive in church only to be told by the pastor that you will be the one to preach that morning. Days when every Christian was a soldier, ever ready for the use of the master. These days, the pastor has to pray hard and give enough notice before he can ask a member to lend the church their car for an assignment. Sadly, the love of many has waxed cold. Is it your love for God that pushes you to do the things you do for him? Or do you do them just as a normal duty you have in church? Are you still bubbling with that first love you had when you gave your life to Christ? Or is your Christianity now a bunch of activities? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Revelation 2.5 At the beginning of the letter, Jesus said he had seen their works. In verse 5 above, he says that they should return to their first works. There is the work you do mechanically without being driven by love for God, and there is the work you do as a result of your love for him. Jesus is telling you today to return to your first love, to do the first works that we are driven by that love. It could be the same activity, but the works must now be backed by love. Reflection Ask yourself, what drives me to do the work of God? Bible reading in one year. 
Isaiah 6 to 9. Him for today, deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.